bada bing. Wow, that is awesome, and that is clean too. That is classic. And then here we go to the 2004. Currently filming this video by sitting on my garage floor. And it's very cold out. It's the things I do for you guys. It's the things I do for this YouTube channel. You know what I mean? I'm putting in work, all right? So if you are in the market for a Lincoln Town Car or you currently own a Lincoln Town Car, chances are that when you were shopping to purchase yours, whether you were on Car Gurus or Facebook Marketplace or wherever you were looking, you were finding Lincoln Town Cars that have this piece on the wheel wells. Now what this is, is just strictly cosmetic chrome plastic piece that you clip on or you screw in. Um, on the wheel well and basically it's just supposed to give like a nice little aftermarket finish chrome finish to kind of bring out more of the chrome on the car which it already has a lot of chrome so I'm not sure why you would do it um, I don't hate the way it looks um, it doesn't really the look itself doesn't I could I'm, I'm with it or I'm without it it doesn't really bother me I could I could take it or leave it but the biggest thing about it is what happens when you have these on when you have these on water builds up underneath and causes rust so all this will start to rust out this fender here will all start to rust out and then you're in a situation because it's starting to rust and that's obviously no good so i'm gonna take that off and we are gonna go from there because i don't want it on there anymore and hopefully there's not a bunch of rust underneath it when I remove it. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Got some clips. Okay, so we got this one off obviously very dirty because it's been on there for a while so you can see like an outline of where it was and the dirt all built up underneath there so we're gonna have to get this baby washed get this cleaned up but i do see one thing and i'll show you guys right now so it actually goes on with clips but there was one spot a hole where it gets screwed into the fender which is right there, obviously. So that is no bueno because now it's exposed. And although you can't really see it, um, I don't want that getting worse. So I don't know if I could have that kind of plugged or whatever, but we're gonna have to get that addressed because we don't want that to get worse. But the main thing is all right here, is solid there's no holes there's no rust going on it's just dirty which is good um but obviously that rust spot right there from the screw if that could focus there you go is no good now in the meantime off camera i actually did the back there was the front you were just looking at here was the back and the back actually did not screw in anywhere so the back kind of just clipped on around the body of the car, which is good because, yeah, same thing like the front, it's dirty. There's a little bit of adhesive right here, but no signs of rust at all, which is really good. But because of that screw in the front, there's that little rust spot. So we're gonna have to see what we could do about that. But let's go ahead and move to the other side where I will show you guys now. That one. And then that one. All right, 
Let's get him off. So I have officially gotten all four of those chrome trim pieces off the Lincoln. There was some adhesive left, so I had to get that off. Uh, got it the best I could. I am taking the car to get washed right now, so I will do, just in a second after I get this baby washed, a final walk around for you guys so you can see the, uh, kind of like a before and after. I'll throw up a video before, and then I will throw up an after but um, I'm liking the way it looks. Luckily, no bubbling of any kind or anything nasty. Now, like I said, cosmetically, I didn't love them. I didn't hate them, but this was more so for the reason of the bubbling slash rusting that could happen. And that does happen a lot when you have these trim pieces, not on a, just on a Lincoln Town car, on any car. And if you're looking for a used one of these cars or any car for that matter that has those, Maybe it's worth it to take one of them off and check under and see how bad it is if it's if there's rust already there or what the situation is because like I said people do use those those trim pieces to cover up existing rust. So that's my two cents. Let's go get this baby washed. At the car wash and it says that the special for Tuesday is Ladies Day, meaning any platinum wash is $6 off. I guess I could identify as a lady for the day, right? And get the six bucks off. Just for the day, you know? She is all washed up the finished product there's a little bit of adhesive still left but for the most part I feel like it looks a lot more clean taking those off so I'm happy about it so we did the Trim. We checked the tire pressure and got her washed. Checked the oil. She's good to go. So I am officially in the house now. It has been a long day. This is actually my first day back to work since after the holidays. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm working full time, trying to do the YouTube thing as consistent as possible. So if you're liking the content. Drop me a thumbs up. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel, to the videos. And it's free to do. So if you appreciate it, give me a little thumbs up. It helps motivate me at least to get out here and do some more videos for you guys. As well as the comments. I do respond to all the comments. So drop a comment if you like the video. Let me know your opinion on the town car, the before, the after. If you got any questions, let me know. Try to respond to everything. And uh, yeah, I appreciate all the support. Also, you guys watching, have a great, happy new year. I'm going to try to take this YouTube channel as far as I can in this new year, this 2024. We're going to try to stay as consistent as possible, dropping videos. We got the Lincoln Town Car content going. I'm going to incorporate some other vehicles here in the near future. Um, and I'm hoping eventually to get to the point where I could use the money that I can make off of YouTube to reinvest it into the channel and get a new vehicle on the channel. Now, what that vi vehicle would be, I don't know. I'd probably do like a vote and have do a you know like a poll and have you guys vote on it. But something exciting, something different that we could get uh, more videos on and more content on. But obviously, I would have you guys help me pick that out. Um, so who knows? But that's a that's a that's down the line. That's down the road. We got, a, we got a little bit of a ways to go before we get that far and that crazy with it. But appreciate the support. Have a happy new year, guys. 
Drop a comment, drop me a thumbs up. New videos on the way. I got something exciting planned for the near future here. I'm just waiting on a part to come in the mail so that I can get the video going for it. And uh, yeah, happy 2024. Let's get it going. And we will see you guys on the next video. Peace.